Good morning, son. Please, please, stop sneaking into my room like this. Who said I sneaked into your room? What do you want? What is the time? I don't know, you just woke me up. Are you not supposed to be in school? Are you supposed to be in bed by this time of the day? Get ready for school, I'm dropping you off at school. What happened to Rufus? Don't stress yourself, daddy. Rufus will drop me off at school. Besides, I don't even want to go to class today. What do you mean by that, Zavi? Zavi, why do you hate academics so much? Why is it that you're so lazy when it comes to academics? School is not for everybody, daddy. I know some very rich people who didn't go to school, but they make so much money. Will you just shut up? Meet me in 15 minutes. You didn't even close the door. Why, oh, Miss Mom? Believe me, all it's been was love. Believe me, all it's been was scared. Believe me, all I did, all I did was out of love. Yes, love. Dad, thanks for the lift. Should I come pick you up after lectures? No. Please don't. Kindly help me hasten up your mechanic to get my car fixed because you dropping me off at school is making me feel like a baby. But you're a baby? Stop it, Dad. Stop it. Okay. No problem. Listen to me, Zavi. The absence of your mother in your life is one thing that propels me to I always want to go the extra mile to ensure that you're happy. And that I will always do. It's a promise. <laughs> to ensure that I feel that they come, you know. Okay? Okay. Have a nice day in school and make sure you stay out of trouble. Sure. <clears throat> Xavier. Xavier! Savia! And I vow to keep you fine. I don't know how you feel, but just so you know. Whitney, guess you just got into school. Oh, Savia. Why are you so excited over Savia? Who would be excited to see the finest boy in our school? Hmm. In case you don't know. All the girls in our department, even other departments, want to associate with him. The boy is fine! <laughs> you all are clearly suffering from lack of taste. Xavier. Oh, is it not the same Xavier I know? <laughs> I'll definitely not be worrying my pretty head over such person. He's not my class now. Have you seen me? <laughs> well, please, I'm going to class. Are you coming? I'll be waiting here for you. You want to leave? Go. You're, 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 you're talking about Xavier. Wait now! Let's go. Xavier, are you kidding me? The boy is fine. The finest boy in our school. Please, he has no class, okay? <laughs> You've not seen him well. You've not seen him well. He's fine, like mad. That guy has no class, please.
We take life too serious. Um, who is that girl you're looking at in your phone? Mind your business. <laughs> um, bro, you... Sorry. You see that girl in your phone? Hi! That... Oh, damn! That girl is too beautiful! She's hot! You know, I almost got carried away looking at her. What do you expect? I'm Xavier Ofo. I can't settle for anything less. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. Uh -huh. um, so, your assignment. What's up? If I failed our assignment, you know what's up, yeah? Have I ever failed your assignment before? I'll send you 35k later. 35 what? See, Xavier, I will no longer do your assignment for 35k. What do you mean? It is 50k now. See, we don't used to have light in the hostel all the time. And you know I used to buy fuel. Fuel land is very expensive, and you know that. That is your problem. It's 35k or nothing. Okay. <laughs> okay. No problem. Then I'm sorry. You have to do your assignment yourself. Are we even friends? Are you not meant to do it for me for free? Fine. I'll send you 50k later. But know this. This friendship. You know go study. You know go fist TP. I, I, I should be the one to be cracking my head in, in class. Listening to lectures. And then I will come and do assignments for you for free. I heard you. Heard me now. Olodo. Who's that? Good morning, young master. Lazy. Your father demands your presence immediately. What is it about? I honestly do not know. You never seem to know anything. Please tell him I'll be with him shortly. Okay, young master. And Maggie. Yes, young master. I'm not the one who pays you your salary. Stop addressing me as young master. My name is Xavier. Okay, young master. Sorry. Okay, Xavier. It took you 45 minutes to answer my call. Maggie woke me up. I had to freshen up before coming downstairs. You will be going to the office with me today. 
I want you to meet the board of directors and uh, some members of staff. I want them to start getting used to your presence. That is if you must succeed me. Okay? And I ask, Zavi, are you getting prepared to shoulder such an enormous and Herculean responsibility? Of course, Dad. I believe I have what it takes to take over the company someday. If you want, I could take over now. Mm -mm. Not now. That's not going to happen, okay? Uh, you have to ensure that you finish your education first. And once you do that, I will get you a position in the country. A position? Dad, I thought I was supposed to be next to you with the company. Is that your seat? I asked you to sit. I am still at the helm of affairs in my company. Once you are through with your education, I will get a job for you in the creative department of the company. And when I am fully convinced that you are ready to take over the reins of affairs in the company, I will do the needful. Dad, I do not need to go to school to become a CEO. Zavi, an illiterate will not run my company. It's not going to happen. If you're going to take over from me at Afridan's group of companies, then you must meet the set requirements, chief of which is a good university degree. Dad. And if after your education, you fail during the interview process of the company, you will not work for me. I would rather prefer people like Mr. Wellington, who are competent, to take over from me. It took my sweat, my blood, and several years of toiling to get that company to where it is today. I will now allow you to destroy it. You better be ready. You better be prepared. Hello, Xavier. Whitney. Tamar. Did I just see you talking to Xavier? Me? Hell no. He was the one talking to me. You don't look like that to me. I don't know what it looks like to you. All I know is Xavier said hello and I said hi. That's all. Listen, Tamara. I don't want you to train yourself at Xavier. Do you understand me? If every other girl in this school is doing that, Shouldn't be you, my friend. Do you understand? Whitney, come on now. We just exchanged greetings. Is there anything wrong with that? Mm -mm, no, there's nothing wrong with that. So where are you coming from? I'm just saying, you know, you're my friend. I know. <clears throat> How far? Fine, get. Can you please stop this? Can you both just stop embarrassing yourselves? Eh? Why can't you get something meaningful and productive to do with your miserable lives? Instead, you go around bullying every other innocent person in this school. What is wrong with you guys? Okay. Honorable Speaker of House of Reps. Special Advisor on Life Matters. So now you want to put your mouth for our matter. Please don't say your name, Namataya Sabi. Listen, Whitney, I've been a week low. I know they see your papa. 
Every neck get head, but no be every head get sense. As you mean like this, eh? I get emotional, but I don't get coordination. If you know cap less, you go cap fire. And you're not going to take me two seconds, I'm going to change parade for you. Do you hear me, Abby? Wait, me. Please, let's just go and leave this bullet. Ready? Possible, I'm doing that. It's hurting. It's, it's, it's hurting. <laughs> Mali. Calm down. <laughs> Calm down. Yeah? Take it easy on them, you know? They are ladies. You can see they are scared. Yeah, take it easy on them. Malife. Mm -hmm. What do you want? I want you. I want you. I, I like you. You know, I want to be your umbrella. I want to be the man that makes you happy. You know, I've been chasing you around, but you're not giving me a chance. I should give you a chance. No, 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 no. Look at me. Like, have you looked at me from head to toe? You want me to give you a chance? Yeah. When all you do is go around to go humiliate people. Oh, please, I cannot associate myself with someone like you. Ah. Uh -huh. Tamara, please, let's leave this place. Wait, wait. I should wait. Nonsense. Don't, don't get something better to do with your life. Nonsense. Wait, wait, wait. I change my for them now. Huh? Leave that again. Okay, relax. I like this game. Malik, why do you like that kind of game now? I get genyash. Genyash. Jaga. Genyash is life. Objection, my lord. Objection, Varu. As the court pleases. Her Royal Majesty, please be fast, though. We are running late. Ah. Today, we're going to be talking about managerial economics. You remember the last time we talked about financial economies? So, I know that some of you must have been reading really hard. You must have come across managerial economics. This part of economics is a study of economic theory, principles and concepts which are used in managing decision making. So, managerian is um, Purity. Why are you just coming to my class by this time? Huh? Good morning, ma. Good morning, ma. Why are you just coming? You're just you're distracting the class. Make yourself comfortable. Sit down. Sit, 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 sit. Thank you.
Malife. Malife, I'm talking to you. I am talking to you. Get up. Get up. Can you give this class a simple definition of um, managerial economics? Can't do it. Can't do it. Managerial economics. Okay. Squares and stats. Is is that? Oh, please shut up. <laughs> please, purity. You were raising your hand up. Yes. Can you tell us what managerial economy is all about? Managerial economics is the use of economic theories and principles used to make decisions um, when it comes to allocating scarce resources. Give her a round of applause. Beautiful. Wonderful. Malife, you are just an opposite of your name. You don't know anything. Nothing up here. Sit down. Come on, sit down. Rubbish. So, as I was saying, Man, that woman just cut us for two hours. No, they talk economy this, economy that. Don't be pissed. We don't know how to come when they listen to that woman. The economy, eco. What's up? My friend, what's up? What's up? You come up here. This one, I look like understanding your friend. We use the Rapasso John suit. Yeah. Second hand. Yo, here comes the pretty intelligent crippled man. <laughs> I'm, I'm not crippled. I, I only have a dislocated knee due to the impact of the fall. What? The, the doctor said I'll be fine soon. Eh? Hey? The doctor? The doctor said I'll be fine soon. Yeah, 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 yeah. That doctor must be deceiving you. Of course. Listen, girl, people like you are not supposed to be in school. I mean, you should sit in your house. Either do what's up or doing all those things they do on TikTok, you know, use your ring light and, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, she's not going to feed you, I'm not going to feed you. I'm not going to feed you. It's crazy. <laughs> the villain beer. Right? That's it. Stone Choi Laga Malif and uh, Yo Fishy Boss man So somebody did this compost make one correct Malif <laughs> <laughs> He's not Pabon You want to correct me in this campus? You have the liver. See that name, purity. I'll purify you like water. See, I'll make this campus a living hell for you. I support that. I support, I support that one. Andre. Andre. I, I didn't do it intentionally, please. I... I didn't mean to embarrass you. I won't even call that embarrassment. The lecturer asked the question and you couldn't answer that. Ah, shut up. You do that every time. You have done that to me. A whole me, Stone. You make the whole class to laugh at me. On to waiting now. Uh, give him give give one A. Yeah. yeah. I think your papa gave this to her B, your on to scholarship. I'm sorry. I didn't do it intentionally. I didn't mean to. See, intentional. Very soon. Oh, this is the end. No problem. First of all, you don't even belong to this school. You even came here because of your scholarship. But because you know you won't you won't know book pass all of us. You know book? I decrease. God forbid. Don't you know book? Oh, you know them. She know. I also don't know book now. 
So henceforth, you'll be doing our assignment for us. Support them. Joy. 100%. You bring it to us before let you start. Do I make myself clear? Do I make myself yes. clear? Come on, you don't get a choice. Alright. Bring that up. Let your mama. Mommy. Oh, this is my assignment. Go to town. You know, you know, you know. Oh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This one will fit you now. This one. I said, I'm gonna trash him. You need down. For what? You need down. You still need down, Baba. Go in, go in. Go. Go. Intelligent girl. <laughs> This be us. Nah, this be us. Baba, Malife, <laughs> my guy. If you offer, I go on your side. Let's go. Let's see you now, my guy. Let's go. Guys, up now. Every rescue. 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 Every Oh, shit. 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 Oh, where shall I see my room? Where shall I see my waiting room? I will never forget my life for my God! Purity. Why didn't you wait for me? You left me. I came out after lectures and I couldn't find you. I'm sorry. Elvis took me to the school restaurant. He offered to get me lunch and I couldn't resist. What is it, Purity? Purity, why are you crying? Is it my fault? Is it my fault I was scholarship? Am I being bullied because I was scholarship in this school? You got bullied again. Malefe and his friends. They took my coaches and threw it far away from me. I kept wishing and hoping that you would come to help me in that situation. Everyone there just saw me and ignored me. Like, I didn't matter. What's the meaning of this rubbish? Are you the only one on scholarship in this school? Why are they so pained? Come here. I'm sorry, okay? Stop crying. Everything will be fine. I will make sure I put an end to this useless bullying. It's okay. Have you eaten? Don't worry. I will get you something nice, okay? Don't bother yourself.
Hi, Xavier. You shouldn't have used your hand. Let me get you a hammer. Well, rumor has it that you're very arrogant and rude. Are you here to confirm their impression of me? Well, if that will get me your attention, then yes. I hope you get what you're looking for. Who is you? I beg your pardon. Well, my pardon refuses to be begged. But anyway, you know, if... Now. What is it now? I'm not deaf. What is it? Uh, I've been calling you. You just disappeared. I've been looking everywhere for you. Oh, I, I went to the cafeteria. Cafeteria? <laughs> Whitney. What? I just saw you talking with Xavier. Tamara, are you not spying on me? Whitney, is that your best defense? Oh, uh, fine. I, you know how they say he's rude, he stays, he starts. I only went to see for myself, that's all. Nothing else. And what did you see for yourself? Tamara, he's everything and more. Is he that bad? Try something was that bad. <sighs> wow. But he's so good looking. I'm so dreamy. I just, if I could just... Tamara, will you snap out of it? Listen to me, no friend of mine, are you hearing me? No friend of mine will be seen with that arrogant jerk. Can you hear me? <sighs> like his father is rich. He's the only son of chief in Kemjika of four. Who cares, Tamara? Tell me, who cares? He should try buying a good attitude with his father's money, I beg. What's that? He has money, he has. Tamara. Oh. I just feel like he might be good if you get to know him better. Please, let's go. It's okay. Let's go. Are you ready to go? I'm sure I was running after you. You were just going. Let's you go. didn't even wait for me. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> what makes you think I can't invite you to my country? You obviously do not know who my father is, do you? Hold on. I'll call you back. Who's that? Maggie, there is someone here to see you, young master. To see me? Yes. Me or my dad? To see you. I don't have anyone that could come here to see me. She's waiting for you in the living room. Is she? Yes, young master. All right. I'll be down in a few minutes. You. Hi, Sylvia. Um, can we talk? Uh, Samara! Hey, girl. Uh -uh. What's going on? Why are you so happy? <laughs> Did you win a jackpot? <laughs> if that's another word for happiness, then yes. I won a jackpot. <laughs> Tell me about it. Pretty apple. Did I not see you smile at like Xavier? Me? Hell no. Smile at who? With me. Hmm? What? With me. Do you have a crush on Xavier? C crush on Z Xavier? Me? Hell no, girl. <laughs> Whitney, you know how terrible a liar you are, right? Tell me the truth. Do you like Xavier? Well, uh, Tamara. Anyway, just a little. I knew it. <laughs> I said the way you always look at him. <laughs> 
So, do you want him to notice or you want to tell him first? Me, tell him. Girl, you know me now. I showed him already. Hold on. Are you the one Maggie said is looking for me? Mm-hmm. How'd you find me? <laughs> oh, come on, Xavier. A golden fish has no hiding place. It was really easy for me to find you, even if I had to tip some people here and there. So they gave me your address. What do you want? You. I'm sorry. Um, I'm very sorry, young master. Um, sis Xavier, can you just show me around your mansion like a tour? Like the bedroom? Hmm? Oh my goodness! <laughs> Hit me! Yeah! You don't have to go that far! I thought you hated the dude! I thought I did too, but apparently... I realize I like him a whole lot. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and then this guy has you on a lockdown. Mm, I think it does too, girl. That night was one of the best nights I've ever had in my entire life. Jeez, girl. He's so cool. Okay, I'm going to head to class. I don't want to hear about your little... See, you know, Tamara, you don't understand. Like, it's as if I've never done it's it in my entire life. Mm -mm. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Let me explain to you. See, you, you don't get it, okay? Let me... Machama. Oh, this is guy, yeah. <laughs> is there a problem? The end of this conversation will determine if there will be a problem in the future. So we'll be coming down. <laughs> so, mommy's boy. Salad cream boy, fine boy. <laughs> it will be in your best interest eh, to consult the right and left hemispheres of your brain before you give us answer. You know what I'm saying? Sure. problem. Eh? I don't understand. See, guy, I can see you have courage. I can see you have gas inside you. But by the time I enter you now, you could calm down. Straight. You understand? <clears throat> See, Xavier, I don't have anything to ask you. I have just two questions. Two? I don't have time. Mm -mm. Are you seeing with me or not? Sharp. Very simple question. Who the hell is with me? <laughs> oh, so you suddenly lost your memory. You don't know who is with me anymore. Manife, you know once it's 6 p.m., I will lose my memory. I will lose my memory. Lose. Eh? <laughs> this one boy will correct me. You see, right? You see? <laughs> Manife, you know what we can do? You know what me and guys can do? I will clear this boy. Just calm down. Calm down. Because I know if I allow you guys, boy, you can go off this guy. Why is this small boy correcting me? Correcting the lose. It's lost. See, guy, I don't want to talk plenty. Hmm? I don't want to talk plenty. Xavier, witness says you are her boyfriend. Is it true or not? Very simple. Yes or no? Let me hear what? You will be doing me a favor by telling me who witness. is. Favor? Yeah. 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 I see you have gas. I see, I see you, have, you have courage now. See, my guy, Xavier. That favor is something I will not give you at all at all. You can't be wasting your favor on this small boy. How possible? I don't have time. That lost memory. Lose. Continue to lose it, oh. Mm. Continue to lose it. Can the church say amen? Amen. Forever. Because if I catch you anywhere with Whitney, see you anywhere alone, blood everywhere. Yeah, where I go scatter? Telling you. 
How can I be a boyfriend to an unknown person? The, 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 the problem is in the answer question with question. Like in the top. You know, sir, I get do, do too emotional. Nah, nah, sit down. Bro, let me check time. What's the time now? This thing is now 5.49, bro. Almost time. Um, huh? You must still fraud! Calm down. My men don't mount now. This is floor can't be walking up and down inside the campus anyhow. Man, this street. Just calm down. This one. I'm not so sure about that. You say yes, it? What you, what you, what you, what you, what you? I'm a lot to deal with. Chile, what you, what you, what you? Who tell me what you took that thing? See, this small boy, what you? What you? Alife, you know me since 6 p.m. Let me go and clear this. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Hey, hey, hey. Let me go and clear this. It's 6 p.m. You know me. You know what I can do. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to eat it. I'm going to go and look. It's 6 p.m. Oh, sorry. 5.59. Sit down. Oh. to do when you go back now? Mm -hmm. I'll make beans. <laughs> Maybe for that. Beans. Yo, what's up, girl? Just ignore them. Let's go. I always do. So, so your creepiness has affected your brain. You can't listen that we're talking to you guys. If not for stupidity, yeah. I'm sure you would have noticed she doesn't want to talk to you. Did you hear that? I shot me. Dog just barked. Let me, let me, let me say that with that dog. Now look at dog, you cook it. I can imagine a dog calling me the dog. Have you checked yourself? You go here and there bullying people up and down. You are the real dog. Please, please leave her alone. I'm the, I'm the one you have a problem with. Oh, who is this guy? Jeez, I'm the one. Go and carry your nonsense there. Confirm, confirm. Be careful. Be careful. Malik. Malik. Assignment. Your scholarship. Hmm? You need to be useful. Mm. Uh huh? You hear me? No, you listen. The result of the last assignment you did were as crippled as your legs. I mean, how can I get 14 over 15? I mean, what now? I'm more intelligent. I'm too brilliant for that now. If you do any of this assignment wrongly, I need not tell you what happened to you. Eh? Do I need to remind no. you? No. Do I? No. Confirm. I mind you. Advise your friend, eh? I'm a helper. But 250 will don't come out and I was a slap. Jump, 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 jump. We go mute you. There we go. Oh, they are not. I mean, I mean, I mean, they, they call me, they call, they call me dog. Sorry. It's fine, let's get out of here. Let's go. Let's go. I'm sorry. It's fine.
Ah, what's happening here? This place is so hot. Welcome, young master. Oh, sorry, welcome, Gave. How was school today? Same old, same old. I keep getting irritated by the surroundings. May I ask why? I just wish my father would save me the torture of going to that place they call school. 90% of them, they are mad. <sighs> young master, you are not going to school for the people. You are going to school to study so you can be as successful as your father. That's my point. That's exactly my point. My father is loaded. He's rich. His money could give me a fantastic life even though I decide not to work. You know what? I think he's just being mean to me. He knows I hate to go to school. No. He's not being mean to you. He's been an amazing father. A father that wants the best for his son. He wants you to grow up not depending on anyone. And that, young master, is a good thing. Yes. I don't expect anything less from you. You always support him. By the way, where is he? He's in his room. He has not been downstairs today. That's unusual. I'll check up on him. Okay, and I'll go set the table for lunch. <laughs> Dad. Son. Is everything okay? Yes, I'm fine. How was your day? Boring as usual. Maggie said you've not been downstairs today. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Just needed some rest. Are you sick, Dad? I just saw you taking pills. No, I said I'm fine. Dad, I just saw you taking pills. Oh, it's just the multivitamins. You know, I need to, to be healthy. Okay. So, how are you doing? I'm fine. I'll just go freshen up. Okay. I'll see you over lunch. All right. I was about to go check on you. Yes, Maggie told me food is ready. What did Maggie prepare? I haven't checked yet, but I'm down for whatever she makes. You know she's a very good cook. I agree, she is. Thank you. Please, dish. Dad. 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 Okay, sir. It's okay. We're fine. What's wrong with him? Um, he'll be fine. He just suffered a minor, uncomplicated heart attack. Your father is overworking himself. And he has a high blood pressure, which poses the risk of a heart attack. Doctor, don't get my son unnecessarily agitated with your explanations. Just tell him that I'll be fine. Don't tell me that, Dad. Don't. What do we have to do? Um, he needs to rest. And he needs to let go of whatever might be stressing him out. He needs lots of water, fruit. Um, <coughs> sorry, saying sorry, sorry. And I emphasize on the need to rest. And of course, his medication. Promise me 
you make sure your father takes enough rest. I assure you. Alright, I'll take my leave now. Bye, Thank sir. you. You'll be fine, okay? And if anything, call me, alright? Alright, sir. Thank you, doctor. Alright, bye, sir. Thank you. Dad, have you heard? The doctor said you need to rest. Please. There is no cause for alarm. I'll be fine. I don't want to lose you, Dad. Zavi, you will not lose me. Don't say that. Uh -huh. I'll be fine. Believe me, all it's been was love. Believe me, all it's been was care. Believe me, all I did, all I did was out of love. Yes, love. Don't tell me you're still doing those rascals assignments. I'm almost done with it. Let me help you. It's fine, babe. I've got this. Are you sure? Yes. I'm almost done. Purity, don't worry. I've reported those rascals to the school authority, okay? I just hope they look into the matter. Because this issue of bullying is really getting out of hand. Thank you so much. You've really been a very good friend to me. You've also been more than a good friend to me. <laughs> How is your leg? Mm. It still hurts, but what are we going to do now? Don't worry, you'll be fine. Yeah. Wow. Um, I used to be able to get food. Oh, foodie. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get food for you. And my leg should be breaking every day. <laughs> Hello, hello. Uh, and me and Mo. Is he referring to me? Yeah. Malife. Mm -hmm. What do you want? I've told you countless times that I am not interested in you. Do you understand? What don't you understand? Well, first of all, I must say I love your perfume, you know. I, I love the way you've dressed today. You're looking so beautiful. See with me. I am the last guy you would want to reject in this campus. So what would you do? Tell me. Bully me the way you bully other students. Is that it? Wait, Malifi. Do I look like the nerd to you? You need to be careful of the words. You choose. You are talking to Malifi. All right? <laughs> See, Malifi. I have a man, okay? Mm -hmm. And his name is Xavier. You don't expect me to kick Xavier over you. Xavier doesn't even oh, know you. Oh, there goes my... See? <laughs> With me. How far? So now you see? The embarrassment you just got now. A guy who doesn't even know your name. You embarrass yourself like this with 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 your wig. This wig you are wearing now. Very expensive wig. Putting on very expensive perfume. You allow this guy to humiliate you like that. You give attention to this guy and he 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 he, he humiliates you like that. He doesn't value you, me, I will not do you like that. I am going to value you. Treat you like a queen. Coming from someone who has refused to let me be. After telling him a million times that I am not interested. Please, let's go. Wait me. <laughs> Don't worry, huh? I'll treat you like a princess. <laughs> Hello, Xavier. <laughs> <laughs> My little oh, guy. Now, since we have your guy, you want to see him? <laughs> so tell me, tell me, guys. Why you like this girl? See, is it the nyash or the face? I want a nyash. The guy, the nyash. That's his life. I'm telling you, I have something about me. I follow my dreams. So nyash is your dream? And 
Hey dad. Oh, hi son. How are you doing? I'm good. You're still working. But the doctor said you should rest. The company needs to stay afloat. But your health comes first. You're right, Xavi. But how do you expect me to rest? when the company needs to perform optimally. Someone has to ensure that everything goes according to expectation. Besides, you don't just, you know, entrust such an enormous task and just anybody. I know. But your health is of utmost importance. I want you to rest and be taken care of. Hmm. That's very thoughtful of you. If you want me to have a rest, as you said, then you must concentrate on your education. Only then will I know that my company will be in safe hands. Tell me something, Xavi. Open up to me. What exactly is making you uncomfortable in school? Nothing really. I just hate the idea of being in a confined space with a bunch of people who do not even respect themselves. I sometimes feel like I don't belong there. Hmm. Dad, you know I can actually take over for you so you get better. I might not be academically sound, but I am very business oriented. <laughs> Zavi, I will not allow a school dropout run my company. It's not going to happen. If you wish me to recover, as you said, then you must concentrate on your education. Ensure you come out with good grades, graduate, and then assume the leadership of African Group Limited. That's the only criteria. Do I sense blackmail? And what will I gain in blackmailing my son? Mr. Wellington will assume the position of CEO at African until I'm fine. <laughs> so you trust that man? over your own son. Do you really think I cannot handle the company? My son better work harder. Make good grades. Graduate. Only then will you get that which you seek. Hey, baby. I'm good, how are you? I know, I know, I know. It's just that I've been busy with school, you know, work. Obviously, when I'm free, you know I'll call you now. Stop, stop. Why are you saying that? The thing is that... Save me. That's different, babe. That's different. So I'll call you back, okay? I'll call you back. My bad. What do I know?
Adekunle. Adekunle. Bro. Xavier. I've been calling you. Sorry. I didn't hear you. Bro. Is everything okay? Everything is fine, man. You've not been to class for very week now. Hope all is well. All is well. I've just been busy with some stuff. Bro, could you please help me do my assignment? I've had a lot on my mind recently and I can't think about doing my assignments right now. Sure, I will. Guy, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'll send you money later. Don't worry, I got you. You're my guy. Come on. <laughs> Later. Thank you. Hi, Sylvia. Wait. I do not appreciate people coming to my house unannounced. I mean, I could have called you if I had your number before coming. Why are you here? How do you even get past the gates without them calling me to confirm if I know you or not? Actually, I called Maggie. I collected her number the last time I was here and I told her that I'm your girlfriend and we had issues and I really needed to get back to you. So Maggie called the gate for you? I see. I'll deal with her later. Xavier, I miss you so much. Whitney, I have a girl. I have a girl who lives in France. You and I cannot work. Savior. I haven't really gotten over what we shared the last day I was here. I still feel you. My body still yearns for you, Savior. I really do like you, can't you see? It took me a lot to really tell you how much I feel about you. Savior, please. Do you still need a tour of my house? Or perhaps my room? Oh, I like that. The development economy is said to be a branch of economy in improving physical, social conditions. As you all know, in the countries now, 
most countries have improved in their social economy. So now, I put it to you. I want an answer from any of you. So, can you tell me, if you are in a company, what are you to do to prevent your company from a lot of competitors? I want an answer from any of you. <laughs> in my company, there are competitors around. I will threaten them now. They will pack out one time. <laughs> Another person. Whitney. Whitney? No. Huh? Is everything okay at home? Ma? Is everything alright at home? No. Yeah. Oh, shut up! Back to what I was saying. Anybody to answer my question? Guys done. What just happened? I just saw Xavier. Did he snub you? Xavier? Is he mad? Why would you do that? <laughs> Nothing of sort happened. What happened was his father's car broke down, so he was just trying to go get his father so he could take him to the office. That was what happened. Nothing else. Oh. Mm -hmm. I see. Yeah, let's go. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm Babe, I have plans for us. I just want to use this time to focus on my studies and come out with good grades so I can make my father proud. When all this is over, I'll come get you, take you to wherever you want, any country of your choice for a vacation. Feel me? I got you, baby. Do you understand? Like, vacation, anything, you feel me? Anything. So, like, don't stress. Baby, I need to talk to you. Baby, let me call you back. You will be saving yourself a lot of embarrassment if you let me be. Xavier, tell me, what do you take me for? What do you really take me for? Some girl that just satisfies your urges and when you're done, you just ignore me, is that it? I don't know what you're talking about. Xavier, you see? All this your nonsense. They need to stop now. The other day you publicly humiliated me. In front of everyone. Okay, I now decided to come to your house so we could at least talk, you know, like a couple. Then I realized that you, you, you asked your security not to let me in. Fine. I called Maggie. Maggie is no longer taking my calls. Who the hell do you think you are, Xavier? Tell me, who the, who the heck do you think you are to treat me this way? Eh? Yes, I like you. I know that. I went for you. But that doesn't give you the right to treat me the way you're treating me. Why, Xavier? Are you done?
Wow! You're done with our assignment. <laughs> so brilliant. 6 p.m. Jaga, jaga. My brother, how far now? Everywhere still. What did happen now? Oh my, I just uh, were talking about our project with this babe. Ah. Imagine she's done with our assignment. You don't mean it. On time. What do you expect? Ah, uh ah. -uh. She's the only girl with scholarship with this school. Oh, this babe is a big girl. If you are rich, to Very brilliant girl. We're clear. Yeah, you, you, you savvy book. This <laughs> guy be soft now. I'm going to see the pain. <laughs> Baby, eh? that our project is very dear to our life. Read. Read for us. Read. You're my spot. But I forgive you. Get up. I'm taking you home. Get up. Sister, I'm so not to do for you. Jaga. Hm. Huh? Jaga. Hm. See. Thank you for dropping me off. Hmm. Thank you for standing up for me today. It was the least I could do. You're crying. Don't get me wrong. I appreciate you standing up for me today, but you've made matters worse for me. How? Mamife and his friends have bullied me all semester. They've been fighting me because I could answer a question they couldn't. And now, They've been publicly humiliated because of me. I assure you. What's his name again? Malife. Yeah, that. I assure you. Malife and his friends will not disturb you again. You can't assure me that. They've been bullying me all semester. Where is it? Hmm? Where is it? Your hostel? Mm. All right.
Get in. You're scared, right? Thank you so much for defending her yesterday. I got you some snacks to say thank you for what you did for me the other day. It's biscuits and cola. I don't do sugar. Oh. Um, may I sit while I wait for my roommate? What are you doing? Okay, is, is this the economy? Can you please stop? What is wrong with you girls? Must you talk? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I yelled. It's just that I'm trying to study. But you are studying. No, I'm not. I feel like I'm not brilliant enough. I can't even do my assignments myself. I have to pay someone to do them for me. Xavier, you choose not to learn by yourself. It's not that. I just find it hard to concentrate in class. You have to put your mind to it. When you put your mind to it, you find yourself wanting to do it. And when you find yourself wanting to do it, you find that you begin to love it. And when you start loving it, you just, you just get better at it. I want to get better at it. I really want to. Because if I don't, I won't be able to run my father's company. He doesn't trust me enough to run his company because he thinks I'm dull. Then, then prove him wrong. Prove him wrong that you're not dull by doing better in your academics. 
which I can. I just have to pay some lecturers so they can sort my exams and give me good grades. Like I always do. Haven't you heard that there's no wasted knowledge? You can pay your way through school all you want, but when you go out there in life, it's your knowledge that keeps your status, your standard. I can teach you a few topics if you want to learn, but I mean, it's, it's up to you. Why does it feel like a bribe? Did you study last night? Yes, I did. Should I believe you? 
You should. Okay. What is the difference between financial economics and monetary economics? Um, financial economics... Financial economics has a primary microeconomics focus, while monetary economics is mm -hmm. microeconomics in nature. Not bad. Not bad. What are the different sectors of economics? Primary, uh -huh. secondary, quinary, and... Uh, Quaternary and tertiary. <laughs> yeah, those. <laughs> you're actually not doing bad. Am I? Yeah, you're doing good. <laughs> you're doing really great. Okay. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Malife. With me. Oh, Who would wow. have thought that you'd be seen walking alone? Oh, really? <laughs> Girl, don't get carried away, you know? In case you don't know, I'm a very big fan of Liverpool. We never walk alone. <laughs> well, I'm on my way to see my guys. Uh -huh. You're looking beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, Malife, can I have like just a few minutes of your time? A few minutes of my time? First of all, have you thought about my proposal? Or oh, you're about to tell me that uh, you have agreed uh, that I'll be craving your gardens? In your dreams. Okay, so what do you need me for? I need your help. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Don. Good morning, Xavi. Where are you off to? I'm off to school. Aren't you going a bit too early? No. Aren't you the one that said I should study? Hmm. I said so. That's good. Hmm? Come give me a handshake. <laughs> I'm impressed. Have a nice day, okay? And stay out of trouble. Yes, sir. Maggie. Sir. What is wrong with this young man? I don't know, but he's been going to school really early these days, sir. You think I shouldn't be worried? Not at all. I think young master is growing up. Uh, he seems to have accepted education with open arms and has really found joy doing so. Hmm. I think you're very correct. It's okay. Your tea, sir. Oh. I'll go get your medication. Thank you. Of oh, course, excuse me. Purity! Purity! Objection, my lord! Objection sustained. Guy! I don't look you since you're passing your boundaries. But I forgive you because time will be 6 p.m. Guy, check your time. This is 6 p.m. I will be trying to Okay, mommy's going, Abby. Hey! Stone! Huh? Don't take him, take him. Aliko, Aliko. Maliva! Maliva, take over! Maliva, take over!
You. Hi, Whitney. You know, I underestimated you. I mean, what did I do? So, as ugly as you are, so you couldn't find a man your status, hmm? you decided to go for my man. Who is your man, please? Purity! Are you trying to tell me that you do not know that Xavier and I are dating in this campus? Is that what you're trying to say? You and Xavier, I think, I didn't mean, know. Congratulations. But why are you telling me this? Purity. Stay away from Xavier, okay? Are you hearing me? Do you understand? Fucking glasses. Do you understand me? Xavier and I are just friends. We only study together. Study together? I don't care. All right? Do you hear me? I don't see. If it's going this way, you go this way. Do you understand me? Since you came into his life, you've become such bad luck. Leave him alone. I've been standing over there, listening to you speaking nonsense. Hoping at some point you'd leave the poor girl alone, but no. Rubbish just kept on spewing from your mouth. Xavier, are you insulting me because of this thing? This ugly, dirty. Ah, I don't suffer. Because of her, you're insulting me. She has something that you don't. That's self respect. Here. Your details. Sent. Oh. Baby, 200K. Go get yourself shame. Two, if possible. Thank you so much for today. I got you something. <laughs> you got me something. You got me a phone? Um, with the way people seem not to like you, you might get into trouble. Mm -hmm. You should have someone to call when that happens. I don't have anyone to call, Sylvia. Well, um, I was kind of hoping you should call me. Thank you so much. Why are you thanking me? Because you've done so much for me. You've done so much more. Hunger, tiredness, or boredom. Hmm? Hunger, it is them. Where are you going? To get you fed. Life can oh. be rough. Some people can make it so tough. The mighty oppressed the weak and 
the strong, suppress the feeble, but you gotta be strong, yeah, yeah, and keep believing. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Someday help will come for you, and then Joe will come to you. Your story will turn around. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Someday help will come for you, and then Joe. Okay, here we are. Thank you. Thank you so much, Savior. Please, look after her from here, okay? I want to believe I've been doing my best thing, taking good care of her, ever since she fell down from the staircase that dislocated her knee. Okay, um, Mrs. Ogunde asked for me. I don't know why, but I'm going to see her. Okay. All right? Mm -hmm. So I'll see you later, all right? All right, all right. Later. Don't worry. I will take good care of her, okay? All right, all right, all right. See you. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. Hey, Riti. Hmm? I think Xavier loves you so much. Grantolani. <laughs> <laughs> That's the same thing you said about Elvis, just because he was buying you food every time. Didn't he later prove you wrong? Come on. Elvis is different. But you see Xavier. I mean... He literally got you a new phone. He drives you to school. I think he really cares about you. Xavier and I are just friends. Hmm. Besides, he has too many beautiful girls around him to even want to fall in love with me, so... You never can tell. Love happens at any time. I just said what I observed, though. Hmm. I've heard you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go easy, okay? Thank you. One step at a time. Dad. Good morning. Good morning, Zavi. Margaret told me you got involved in a fight in school yesterday and that you fractured your wrist in the process. When have you become a tiger? I thought I trained you properly. I'm sorry. I just couldn't hold myself. You couldn't hold yourself. Zavi, over time, you have disappointed me. But as days go by, you bring up new disappointments. What is wrong with you? I'm sorry, Dad. You're sorry? Fine, it's okay. Apology accepted. But listen to me. You have told me on several occasions that you no longer want to go to school. I think I'm beginning to see things from your own perspective. The time has come for you to stop going to school. No. No, 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 no. Dad, please, no. Please don't make me stop going to school. I want to go to school. I want to learn. I want to study. I want to be academically fit. Most of all, I want to make you proud, Dad. And the truth is, recently, I've been on the path to make you proud. Please don't make me stop now. You want to make your father proud, Zavi. And you think you can make me proud by fighting on the streets like a tiger? Is it because you learned karate and you now use it to fight and molest people? Dad, I was defending someone. 
this group of boys in school constantly harass and bully a girl in school. She fell from the stairs and she broke her leg and she has been on crutches ever since. I've been watching them bully her for weeks. They take her crutches and they throw it away. They tell her to fetch it like she's a dog. When she tries to fetch it, they'll push her to the ground and mock her. I usually mind my business but at that time I couldn't. I couldn't sit there and do nothing. I just felt like someone had to do something about it. I'm sorry, Dad. You mean you stood up for someone? Yeah. It's okay. It's fine. You did the right thing. Hmm? But it must not happen again. I promise, Dad. It won't happen again. You're a good boy. Hmm? I intend going to the golf course later in the day. Will you go with me? No. I have to study later. Hmm? <laughs> it's okay. Have a nice day. Oh yeah, purity. Hmm? You know we've been studying in a particular place for a while. Yeah, for 35 days now. What? Yeah, we've been studying together for 35 days now. You've been keeping tabs? Um, no, not really. Things just add up subconsciously in my head. Okay. As I was saying, we've been studying in a particular place for 35 days now and I thought we should do something different. I absolutely love it. And I won't lie, you're actually doing pretty well. And you know exams are coming up and I just want to make sure you're fully prepared because you won't be paying anyone this time. Honestly, that's one of my biggest fears. I don't think I can do it myself. As if you haven't started and you're already deeming yourself a failure. Look, if you really appreciate your dad and you love him, the only thing you can do right now is get good grades. I want to. Honestly, there's nothing I want more in this life than to make my father proud. Then let's study. Last time we were talking about corporate finance. Wait. Wait. Let's talk about that. What? That... I'm, I'm not ready yet. Purity, you've been on crutches for a while now. You know I'm not fully recovered and I have to use my crutches till I'm good. Who said so? My doctor. Which doctor? My doctor. Today, we walk. No. Yes. Zivia, I'm not ready. You are, you are. Careful. 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 So why are we walking? Careful. 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 Don't Ooh. make me fall. <laughs> Careful. Okay. See? How? You're doing it. <laughs> no need, really. I guess we have to call the professional. Yeah. <laughs> Malife. 
The boys and I have been looking for you. What's up? The boys and you are looking for me. All right, you found me. What's up? <sighs> Bro, don't tell me you are bothered about what the HOD said. You are not bothered. Why should I be bothered? Okay, someone went to the authorities and reported that we bullied PDT and some students. And if it continues, they are going to suspend us indefinitely. So, what is there? Okay. Suspended indefinitely. And it doesn't worry you. It doesn't bother you. Malifi, why should I be bothered about such a wonderful news? Come on now. I want for you. If they suspend us, it is good for all of us. Alright, speak for yourself. If it doesn't bother you, me, it does. If they suspend me indefinitely in this school, me, I am doomed. Ah, you get me? Malifa, why are you making this thing look like a big deal now? I, I thought you never cared about school or any other person. Okay, are you happy? Are you happy being here? Do you want to be here? That I care. I want to be here. I want to study. Ah, bro, she you the way me have it. You want my nickel See, Jaga, if what I've said now has made your nipple hard, continue to be hard. See, Jaga, let me tell you something. When I came into this school, I saw Ratty, bad boy Ratty, and his gang, who has been recently expelled from this school. I saw how they treated people, how they treated people so badly, how people were so scared of them. I saw it. I was scared of being bullied. So I immediately Ratty left the school. I took over Ratty's position. It's not like I was a bad boy. I wasn't. I'm a good boy. I come from a Christian home. My name is Malife. Meaning I have something there. You know, I created this little group which has really reflected negatively on me. All this gaga gaga gaga. I am not a gaga gaga person. I'm a good boy. You know, see, if my father find out that I mis misbehave in school, my father will have my head on a platter. Father will disown me. Malife. Oh, good day. Why are you doing that? Put this up now. Huh? But are you saying, in essence, that this group of strong men that we have created, that we created, is affecting you negatively? Like we are, we are negative groups. My guy, simple and short. Uh, what I'm trying to say is if this little group we have created can't be known for good, then I'm sorry to say I quit. Now for you, the Missian. Now, which kind of name is that one? Now for you, what do they talk like this now? Eh? Okay, who has good deed ever helped in this life? They play. Eh? Who has good ever helped? Just they play. Okay, now listen. You and I know that we know nothing. One plus one, we know now. Two plus two, bab. Now, if we stop it, who are the people that are going to do our assignment? How can we get these timid, intelligent students to do our assignment for us? Then you learn. Learn what? You study your books. Study what thing? Your assignment given to you by your teacher, by your lecturer. You know, because me, I fought now, I've decided to learn my shit, take my studies seriously. So now I don't need people to help me. Exams is in a few weeks. My brother, I want to learn because I don't want to get carried over. Wait, now remember how people are scared of us. Just imagine now, when we move, people are scared. When they see us, they scamper. They respect us so much. If we say, hey, come, do assignment, they do it with, 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 with hurry. If we stop this thing now, who is going to respect us again? Daga, we have some people in life. They don't have goals. They don't have dreams. If you have decided to be one of them, it's okay. But me, you see all this gaga, -ga -ga, all this street credibility. I don't drop out. I want to be in school. I want to learn. Okay, Daga, what's my name? Malifa. Bro, bro, look who's into this situation and understand my concentration. Rethink this thing now, my man. Now, wow. What are you looking at? My friend. Mm -hmm.
can be rough Some people can make it so tough The mighty oppress the weak and The strong suppress the feeble But you gotta be strong, yeah, yeah And keep believing There's a light at the end of the tunnel Hey, bro. Oh, what's up, man? I'm good. Long time no talk. All right, how are you? Man, it's good to see. I'm fine. Okay. Come on. Have you done your assignments? Oh, yeah. I've done it. I've even submitted. You have? Yeah. Oh. I was waiting for you to bring the assignment as usual, you know. But since you weren't forthcoming, I decided to come on my own. Oh, that's... So thoughtful of you, but I've done it, so thank you. That's fine. That's fine. I can see you have a new handyman now. What do you mean by that? Who doesn't know purity in the department? Miss ITK. I know she's the one doing your school runs now. Adekunle, thanks for stopping by. But as you can see, we're reading. Yeah. Okay. Just give me a call when you need me. Yeah. I'm happy for you. And I'm grateful for you. Are you? Proudly. Our exams are about to begin. Are you ready? I don't know. Do you think I'm ready? I think you're more than ready. We just have to go over a few topics and we're good. You know you can't get anything less than A in your grades, right? Damn, I love this girl. What'd you say? What? Nothing. Don't worry about it. What do you want? She with me. 
you have to let it go for the sake of peace of mind okay what are you talking about you know what i'm talking about whitney get over it all these things you're staring at them. get over it dear i just feel so bad i feel so bad for allowing myself fall for that xavier guy just 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 look at the idiot he he picked over me i don't think xavier chose purity because of uh looks purity is not even fine like that then what then see Whitney, let me be honest with you women will go for peace of mind rather than going for all this looks and body all this bbl and things no we don't we don't want bbl we don't want the me like this food and peace what stupid peace no tell me what stupid peace if it's peace you wanted i'll just give him double now what's there to give peace whitney you are not peace just respect yourself and let xavier be that guy doesn't like you if you keep on watching him like that he will say you are stalking him you know you are beautiful girl okay, yes maybe you get somebody who like your, your, your you know like your type all right but xavier maybe try another time okay Thank you again for dropping me off. Can I ask you a favor? Yeah, sure, you can ask me anything. Please don't get this the wrong way. And know that I'll never try to change you. <laughs> okay, what do you want to ask? I would like to sing in something other than this long sleeve sweater. You want to see me make it? No, 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 no. That's not what I meant. I meant that I want to be seeing something more luxurious, something more girly, you know? Something more classy. You don't like the way I dress, do you? I mean, I'm not against it. And I'll never try to change you. Don't get the wrong idea. Look, I got you something. And I really want you to wear it. Can you do that for me? Wear it. If you like it, I promise to get you more of it. But if you don't like it, I swear I won't bother you about it again. Alright, um... Do you want to come in? What about your roommate? Wouldn't that be me inconvenient her? Oh, no, she, she went out to see her boyfriend. So, do you want to come in? You're nothing short of what I imagined. You look... You... you think so? I know so. <laughs> I mean, the dress is beautiful. You make it look beautiful. What are you doing? I want to see you without... <sighs> you know I can't see far clearly without my glasses, right? I'm here. You can see the world through mine.
Oh my god. You look stunning. Um, see, Xavier, I'll be honest with you. This dress is beautiful and, and luxurious and everything, but I'm, I'm not comfortable in it. I just, I just want to wear my glasses, go to school and and just live a simple life, honestly. You see those long conversations we have? The way they make me feel. I wouldn't lose that for the world. My heart is excited. Yet, afraid because of how vulnerable it has become. I think about you constantly. Who's this? take a picture just for keeps yeah hey baby I'm so sorry I know I've been a terrible person it's just that exams are around the corner and I need to study yeah, 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 I promise. Once I'm done with the exams, I'll come see you in France. They're coming to Nigeria. Well, that's great. It's better, because, like, I mean, it's, it's good. When, when I get back home, I'll talk to my father about it and we'll make arrangements, all right? All right, baby. I love you, too. Uh. Yo, purity, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Where are you going? I'm supposed to study. I want to go home. Why? What happened? Nothing happened. I just want to go home. Purity. Is it because of the call? <laughs> are you jealous? Me? Jealous? No, I'm, I'm not jealous. Why, why would I be jealous? You're a grown man. You should have a girlfriend. Why would I think that you're single? I should have a boyfriend too. I'm, I'm not jealous. I, I shouldn't be jealous. It's okay. It's fine. I'm like you're crying. Whitney. Tamara. Uh, you're still in school. I thought you'd gone home. I don't understand. Will I go without you? Oh, okay. Anyway, did you see what I just saw? What's that? Xavier and that people thing. Can you make a statement for once without mentioning Xavier's name? Like, seriously? Whatever. I actually think that that girl charmed Xavier. Seriously, Whitney. Oh. Baby, how are you doing? Hi. I've been calling your line. My phone is in my bag. Oh. Tamara. You. You and him? Uh, Whitney, I, I was going to tell you. You. 
For how long has this been going on? Well, we've been seeing each other for a while now. Will you shut up your mouth? Was I talking to you? Hey, 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 Whitney, I won't have you insult my man like that. Hey, oh my goodness. Ah, I've been the fool. Tamara. Malife. You know this guy's had eyes for me and me alone in this campus. And you still work for him. Point of correction, Whitney. I did not go for him. He came for me. Tamara. So you kept this relationship a secret. You know I would never do that to you, right? I'm sorry, Whitney. I didn't mean to. Hey, are you hungry? Yeah. All right, let's get some food to eat. So sorry about that. About this relationship. This ship. I don't think it would sail anymore. Wow. She actually hung up on me. At least I told her. I can't believe you're making us come this night to check our results. So, I don't want to check my results when everybody's there. You're not even sure of yourself. We studied hard and you did good. Please, don't patronize me. I know myself. You're not sure of yourself. Yeah, I do No, I'm not surprised. Your name is here. Hi. <laughs> Come check. Come and check. Wait. Is that Xavier? Is this real? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, we did it! 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 Thank you so much. Thank you for helping me through this phase in my life, Purity. Thank you. I love you. You love me. Took you long enough to say, I love you too. Purity. I want you to know that you bring constant laughter into my life. Like I'm living my best life. I might not have achieved what I set out to achieve, but with you, everything seems right. My best life is the life with you in it. Purity, I love you. Who would have known you could be this sweet? I love you too. You seem nervous. I am nervous. Why? Because you brought me here to see your father. My dad is the best. I'm sure I won't need to explain to you when you see him. <clears throat> Good evening, sir. Good evening, my dear. Good evening, dad. Good evening, Xavi. Please, have a seat. Thank you. You're well-mannered. It's an honor to finally place a face to the name. <laughs> it's an honor to make your acquaintance, yes, sir. I'm happy to see you. Xavi. So? I must say her parents trained her properly. Dad, she is everything. Absolutely. I agree with you. 
A girl who went out of her way to transform your life in a manner she did. It's no ordinary girl. You did well, my daughter. Thank you. Did he tell you that he dedicated his second class upper degree to you? <laughs> <laughs> he told me a lot of good things about you, my dear. How you enabled him become the man he has become today. You remind me of my late wife, his mother. Whatever I have achieved so far in life is tied to her. Oh, thank you so much, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. I was told you made a first class. That's impressive. Thank you, sir, but it was a collective effort. We both taught ourselves. Zavi, that's a wise woman there. You know what? You have proven beyond all reasonable doubt that you can actually assume the position of CEO in my company. As a matter of fact, there will be an emergency session of the board on Monday where I will announce you as the new CEO of the company. Oh my God, Dad! Thank you so much, Frank. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. Your father expects you to perform. There will be no room for excuses. Okay? Trust me, Dad. I'll maintain your legacy. I'm happy to hear that, my son. Most importantly, have it at the back of your mind that you have a friend who has a first-class degree. <laughs> I guess someone's getting fired on Monday. Mm. Endeavor not to fire any member of my staff. I'll try. But I guess we're going to have two MDs. <laughs> That's right. Dinner will be served in 15 minutes. Thank you, Margaret. Thank you, Ma. So, you're welcome. Purity? Uh. We've become a family. Okay? Feel free and be happy. Thank you. Right. See you later. Daddy. Did I tell you that you're my angel here on earth? There's a light at the end of the tunnel.